Anytime that the jewel has come down below the 50 read, so just the neutral zone is essentially, and then crossed back above the 50 read, all of these, except for two of them, were just, just straight fucking up, basically. Not great with vape. <laughs> ah, we got liquidated. Crown, what do you have to say for yourself? Now this signal, however, is not confirmed just yet. All right, it's time for your one-stop shop for all crypto news and trades in the long-term, mid-term, and short-term that we're going to go through throughout this video. Lots of important stuff today, so be sure to stick around, right? We can see here in the news, a US leading economic indicators continue to fall, no longer signaling a recession. This is pretty bullish, not just for Bitcoin, but for the entire financial markets, if Japan don't do bad things. <laughs> the conference board's leading indicators no longer single recession, and the US recession fears were partly responsible for the early August slide at Japan uh, in stocks and cryptocurrencies, right? So, uh, yes, that's the news. That's what's going on. Besides that, we have uh, Harris saying she's pro-crypto. She's not, okay? She's not. Um, market went up ballistically last night after a few traps. We can see this with a sea of green across all altcoins. Fear and greed back up to a 39. This is a bullish sign because we haven't broke over 35 in a while now. So uh, this is pretty good. It means people are getting more confidence, but not too much confidence, right? If there's too much confidence, then it goes badly, right? So this is just enough confidence to potentially push us uh, well over the 60s and into the 70s, right? ETFs continuing to recover here as we can see GPTC actually uh, have smaller outflows after their ridiculous streak of outflows here. Dirty. Okay, uh, we're also seeing 39 million as of yesterday, which is fantastic. So yeah, five green days in a row. We can't really hate that. Absolute low for Bitcoin coming in around 45k here and the, the justification behind this is obviously because every time we hit this production line, right, the electrical cost for Bitcoin, uh, obviously it needs to push up because the miners need to make money, right? So uh, yes, uh, this has happened essentially throughout the entirety of Bitcoin's history uh, and this current line is around 45k. So watch out for that. If we do get a crash, that's where I'm buying, okay? Talking about miners, yes, we have had a little uptick here on the three-month electricity consumption index and with this this is typically a bullish sign breaking over resistance uh, we're not like fully out of this area yet I want to see more of a confirm low like a push up to the 260s would be fantastic and that would be extremely bullish for Bitcoin but this is more neutral slash bullish so better than yesterday if we are looking at the three-day liquidation heat map we can see we can see we are just comfortably inside a range. We were talking about uh, these two yesterday. We said, hey, whichever one we break out of is the direction we go. And we did fly in that direction, as you can see here, all the way up to about 61.5. Fantastic stuff here. Okay, and then a massive pullback, as we also predicted. So uh, what we're seeing right now is uh, lots of liquidations to both sides still, and uh, nothing crazy here in terms of uh, areas that they would want to get to. I would just say probably a random walk here. We'll have to see uh, until stock market opens, but uh, as of right now, fairly neutral in terms of liquidation heat map, if not slightly bearish. Be sure to check out the Patreon, it's completely free to follow. Okay, we're waiting on this signal to play out here once we break over 62k, but I'm giving you one free Bitcoin signal every single day, so check it out right now. And now, let's move on to the long-term chart analysis for Bitcoin. Come on, liquidate me already. I need to make this video. All right, let's jump into the chart analysis right here, right now, starting with the long-term. We can see we can see we have a pretty bullish structure that is formed here, okay? Dare I say a V-shaped recovery in the works. Uh, we can see uh, a lot of people would call this an ascending triangle. Over the eight years I've been trading and the six years I've been trading Bitcoin and the three years I've been making videos, I would say no. Um, technically, in some traditional markets, yes, but uh, just based on the fact that we don't have uh, the smaller time frame candle closes on this this line anyway, it's just not it's not as good. Okay, it's not as valid. Uh, it is enough to say that we have a measure move though, and that measure move would be the most recent wave here uh, and bringing that up. Okay, uh, what we'd be looking for here 
is a little bit more of an extension of this move uh, all the way up to the top of this descending channel range okay and with this descending channel range uh, we get in a trade here okay when we break this high okay the previous high which is 62.8 alright if we break over that high I will be looking for a long over the next kind of week or so uh, to about 66.2 okay that is nice all right that's very nice indeed if we are looking towards the downside because we are targeting shorts here as well guys uh, we can see we can see 57 8 all the way down to the bottom of this range on a crashing scenario uh, and we can still make a higher low here by hitting that so that's absolutely fine and justifiable to say okay we can say that yeah if we do lose that 57 8 zone okay i will be looking for a trade down all the way to 53 7 i will be taking a lot of profit here Okay, at about 3%, which is 56, 2, 56, 3, that kind of zone, all right? Uh, that's really what I'm looking for in terms of swing trades. If we are looking on the broader side of things here, the longer term, uh, we can see that, yes, we are still targeting that trade from 71K all the way up to about 80, taking profit at the all-time high, of course. Uh, and we're targeting a short here towards the downside at 49.1, all the way down to about 45.5, if it is a crashing scenario, okay? Uh, so that's more that's the the decent trading okay let's let's go down to the lower time frames where it is going to be a little bit more risky damn that got insane views insane views who should i target next maybe crown <laughs> Midterm here on the four hour, we can see that yes, we had this pattern drawn in. We had this free signal put out on the Patreon, which again is free. All right, you just press follow, no payment, no credit card, no nothing. All right, and we can see here that yes, we are still targeting that. If we get over the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, we're looking for a long here, a beautiful long, okay? Uh, and that long is from about 62.3 all the way up to about 63.7. Okay, if you're a bit more cautious, you can wait for this high to break here, which is what we're looking for uh, more on the long term anyway. Okay, uh, and from that point, we just look to bang it. Okay, we look to bang it for this measure move. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, we talked about this trap zone yesterday and we said, hey, we have this parallel trap zone line. Uh, and if we don't get over that line, it is not good for a trade. And you can see here, this wasn't even put in yet. This wasn't even put in yet. We can see just underneath that line is where the trap did come through. We have now lost the 15 minute, all right? So unless we reclaim this again, it's looking a little bit more like we do come down, test the lower sides of the range, all right? But the fact that we have closed candles on the four hour inside this trap zone, and we are trying to kind of recover decent buy pressure here as well with this wick uh, it is more of a bullish sign so uh, this can obviously go both ways but what we will say is we do have trades to both sides anyway so it doesn't really matter which way it goes okay uh, so we're looking for 62.8 up to about 63.8 uh, and if we do start dumping here uh, this trade is actually slightly different now uh, in which we have a smaller measure move and a different entry point. Uh, let's just see if this is still even valid yes it is okay so we would look to break this low here all right and we'll look to come down to uh to the bottom of this area i'd probably look at this low for the take profit more than anything okay but again two fantastic trades here that you can be targeting okay if we do start crashing ridiculously then uh yeah 56 K all the way down to about 52k is viable and it is a pretty decent trade to be targeting to be fair that's the midterm let's jump in to the short term the degen zone very very risky time very zone very risky zone time prime xbt give you a hundred dollars a hundred dollars when you sign up DGen zone, we did potentially talk about this trade. Okay, we said that, we said, yes, I would not be targeting this, but if you have to, this is the trade, okay? <laughs> um, and yes, it did trap. It did actually complete the move in the end. So if you held this for a long time, good, okay? But uh, typically in terms of a trading sense, bad, okay? Because very likely we trapped there. So uh, yeah, if you did find that trade, congrats but probably wasn't the best one long term if you run that trade 100 times you do get destroyed okay uh in terms of after we wick down right so if, if you entered here and then <coughs> and then and then we came down and you held the trade then it's a bad trade <coughs> well, there's nuts stuck in my throat <laughs> so yeah if you did get into this trade then uh yeah 
getting out here was the acceptable way to get out. If you would have stayed in this trade and then held the trade and run that trade a hundred times, that decision a hundred times, you would have lost money a lot of the time, okay? So probably bad if you did hold this trade and make the money. And I know that sounds weird, but uh, yeah, this this was not something that was very good in terms of trading generally, all right? Uh, the downwards trade is still potentially valid here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we basically look to break this low. We lose this 15 minute, okay? So we'll be looking to, to, to trade down from about 58.4 all the way down to the next level, which would be 57.8, okay? This is super risky in itself. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of scalps towards the upside here, guys, I would not, I wouldn't touch this. I wouldn't touch this, guys. Um, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. There's just too much resistance here. I should be giving you a trade, but it's just not, it's not a good one. It's not a good one to be targeting. And the reason for that is all the resistances, of course, but we've got this 15 minute, uh, sorry, we've got this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band and the, uh, and this, this resistance here as well. So yeah, if you want to take a trade, I would wait till we get above all of those and then potentially target that trade towards the upside, uh, similar to the mid and the high terms, right? But to do that, we need to break above the 60 minute. We need to retest it and then we need to break the high that's made. Okay. Uh, but that is super risky in itself. So just be very, very careful. Stick to the long-term trades uh, and uh, yeah that is going to be it for me in this video i will see you guys in the next one be sure to like it if you could like it leave a comment uh, if you did see the secret giveaway code as well leave it in the comments don't type secret giveaway code bum and then the code okay just type the code all right or include it in a sentence or something because otherwise people aren't going to watch the video watch time goes down channel gets destroyed and then yes just bad just bad things all around okay so uh, if you did see the code congrats whack it in the comments i will see you very, very soon in the next video. Be sure to check out Prime XBT as well. Cheers. Lately, I'm down to the red tide. I'm to the dark side.